This metabolic testing initially and was mostly used with elite and professional athletes. The idea of the test is to, is to find and measure uh, a way to measure how the body uses fat as a primary source of fuel. And if we could teach an athlete's body how to use fat as a source of fuel, they'll be able to bike longer or exercise longer and run longer since their body is using its own energy in the store of its fat. Okay, what we want to do this to the everyday person now is we're using this test to actually see where their body burns fat so we could develop a custom exercise program based on their specific metabolism so we could teach their body to be efficient at burning fat. Believe it or not, most people are not very efficient at burning fat. Uh, most people are causing their body to be a sugar burner or a carbohydrate burner. Simply going to the gym and hopping on a treadmill and running for an hour doesn't mean you're going to burn a lot of fat. You burn a lot of calories, yeah, maybe. But what type are those calories? Are those calories come from sugars, proteins, or fats? If we're trying to lose weight, we want those to make sure those calories are burned, uh, are, are being burned, are coming from fat. We want to make the most of the workout, don't we? Um, so simply hopping on a treadmill or a bike and riding for an hour, um, you're guessing with that. The, this test, what we could actually do is measure how your body burns fat. And we could actually pinpoint specific heart rates where your body will be most efficient at burning fat, which will then teach your body to burn fat and ultimately lose weight. What I'm going to do is, uh, well, the metabolic test is basically what we do is we have a, a, a mask here, okay? And we put the mask on and we breathe through the mask. And the mask is actually connected to a lead which measures into a, a sensor. And what I'm going to do is show you a little bit um, what the, the, the data we get here, but I'm going to go also up here and show it to you. So what's happening here is as we breathe out, our body breathes out carbon dioxide and takes in oxygen. And our sensor in here measures different ratios. And at different ratios of the carbon dioxide and oxygen we're kicking out, uh, we can determine what source of fuel that's coming, whether it's coming from fats, proteins, or carbohydrates. And so what we typically do with the test is it's very, very simple. Um, we connect you to, you, you wear the mask, uh, we have you walk on a treadmill or a bike, and we gradually increase the incline or increase the speed. You do not have to be an elite athlete to do this test. You do not have to be in shape to do this test. If you could walk, you could simply walk on, on, on the treadmill. We don't have to walk. There's other ways we can do the test, but my point is this test is available to anyone and everyone, okay? If you're extremely overweight, it's fine. We can still do this test. You don't have to be running like a madman on a treadmill. It's a simple walk test. We can even do uh, a test by just moving, moving the arms. And so what basically happens here is as we have you breathe through in, into the mask, it's recording on the, 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 the sensor. And what we eventually start to do is we get to get a, a graph of how much fat's burning as a source of fuel. So I'm going to move over to this chart right here. All I'm doing right here is, is kind of taking what, I'll, what the data we get on, on, on the, the metabolic screen here and put it up here so I can draw on it. And I'll show you the data on, on, the, on the screen here in a, in a minute. So what we do is, we, what we do is so if this graph right here is heart rate. Okay, we have a heart rate strap attracted onto you, and the computer picks up your, your heartbeat. And so now we have you um, just breathe in, gentle walk on the treadmill. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to increase that incline or have you move a little bit more of an effort to increase your heart rate. And what we start to do is we start to get a graph of heart rate increasing up here. Now, if I just put a couple numbers up here, I'm just going to put some numbers. Let's say this right, right here, there's a heart rate of 105. Let's say right here we have a heart rate of 120. And let's say here we got 130. And here we got 150. There's a heart rate. Now with these heart rates, everybody is unique and everybody is different. So don't, I'm just using the, the, the numbers as just a, as a number. If you actually do this test, your numbers may be totally different than this, but I just put these up here for an example. And what we have here is, is, is our fat. So this graph right here is, is fat, 
and this is heart rate. So we have you on the treadmill, we're walking on the treadmill, we're gradually increasing the heart rate up until we get up to 150. This is graph, this is the measurement, this is what the sensor is measuring. The sensor is measuring how much, body, how much fat your body is burning at different points of heart rate and, and exercise. And what we see here is we typically will see uh, the heart rate, in, I mean the, the heart rate going up and the fat going up higher, higher, higher. And then what we do is we start to get a spot where the fat dramatically starts to drop down. Um, so what happens here is well, now we have our, our graph or our, our data. And so what we're seeing right here is that a heart rate 105, they're burning some fat. We look at 120, they're burning a lot of fat. We look over at 130 and they're burning almost no fat, okay? 150, there's no fat being done. And so what this allows us to do is now we know we need, in order to, for the body to burn fat, to teach the body to burn fat, the source of fuel, to, to burn the, the fat off the body, we need to develop this type of system right up in here. But that's not what happened in most people, okay? Most people are simply going to the gym, walking on a treadmill, uh, maybe they're tracking heart rate but they did no testing so they don't know what's happening. So what happens if this guy right here goes to the gym and he's walking on a treadmill of 130, he's getting very little fat as a source of as a fuel, okay? Um, he needs to back it down a little bit and slow down and move into this fat burning zone. And what we see is a lot of people are kind of working out right up in here. So let's say this guy right here, he's at 135 to 150 working out. He's burning very little bit of fat. And what he's actually doing at that stage is burning off sugar, okay? He's burning the sugar within his, his body, and he's actually not teaching his body how to burn fat, but he's actually teaching his body to burn more sugar, to be more efficient at burning sugar, which is the exact opposite of what we want to do. And the thing to make sure you understand, this is not about calories. This guy right here is going to go, if he puts a heart rate monitor on and runs, at this heart rate right here for an hour, his heart rate is going to show that he burned a lot of calories, but we know it was not fat calories, it was sugar calories, okay? So this is one of the reasons why people are exercising all the time and not losing any weight, or why you exercise for a while, you drop some weight, and now people are at a plateau. It's because most of the time you're burning sugar calories and your body's not burning the fat calories, okay? Other things happen up here. If this guy is constantly working out at a high heart rate um, that's, that's coming mostly from sugar calories, not from fat calories, it becomes very stressful on the body, okay? Um, you need to look at the, the video I talk about the heart rate variability stress and recovery test. But constantly at, at this heart rate, it, it causes a negative effect on our body's hormones. We have de decreases in DHEA, testosterone, estrogen. Those hormones are vital um, to help our body function properly and lose weight. So if, if the exercise people think they're doing their body a favor because they're working out really hard um, you know, in an effort to try to lose weight, but in reality sometimes what they're doing is they're having a negative effect on their body's hormones and if these hormones are not in their optimal state um, it's going to be very hard to lose weight and it becomes very stressful on the body. This is also why we also have to do some hormone testing to actually see what's going on with your body uh, as far as the hormone status and if we could possibly get the hormones back to a stage um, of more optimal function when you're younger, it's going to be uh, uh, much easier to drop weight if that happens. So let me show you actual the data here on, on the test here. So here's our actual graph. Now it's very similar to the graph that I just showed up. And what we see here is we see heart rate going up right here. Okay, see it going up. And see we got a measurement of the fat right here. Okay, and if we look at this graph here, what we see, see right here they're burning a lot of fat. They're not burning a lot of fat over here. This is what I just did up on, on the graph. And so if they are exercising at this heart rate, which correlates on this person to be a 150, look how little energy their body's coming from fat. So again, they're working out in here. Sure, they're burning a lot of calories, but they're not burning a lot of fat calories. They're burning a lot of sugar calories. So this person needs to, instead of running 
on a treadmill. He needs to back it down over here uh, and maybe do a, a slight brisk walk. What that's going to do is teach this body right here to be much more efficient at burning fat. And then what eventually happens with the body is this graft will shift. So as this graft will shift, that means that the body will burn more fat at a higher heart rate if we train it in this type of system and we move it over like that. Now this type of testing used to be only available for elite and professional athletes, but now we're able to combine it with the average person to help the body burn more fat as a source of fuel. And another issue is there are not many people um, doing this type of testing. Uh, most medical clinics and most diet centers um, are not doing this testing at all. Um, some people are using it at universities and some high level um, sports performance uh, uh, clinics are, are, are using this test. But this is, this is one of the main reasons why people could say, why am I not losing weight when I'm exercising? Okay, I'm trying to save you some, um, uh, some time and some energy uh, by understanding what we could uh, be done before you spend the time to go off and, and, and start the training. So with our program, what we're going to do is we're going to do this VO2 metabolic walking test on you, which will then be able to allow us to actually pinpoint where your body needs to be burning um, the, the most fat at what specific heart rate. So um, please look through the other videos that I have on the site. The, my, my main purpose of this site is to get you all the information that you can handle so you know what our weight loss or anti-aging and lifestyle program is. We use a lot of cutting edge technology um, to actually measure your specific metabolism so we can design a program specifically for... I'm going to talk a little bit about our online coaching programs that we offer. We basically offer just one program and that's customized, supervised coaching specifically for you. Um, what that means is you get all of me whenever you want. You can email me with any questions you have. I'm going to give you my cell phone. You can call me up directly. Uh, we can Skype, okay? So what I do is I'm basically going to, once you sign up for the program, um, I'm going to get some history from you and then get, find out what your goals are. Are you training for a triathlon? Are you training for a run event? Are you just looking to um, start up, get off the couch, and drop some weight? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a time uh, to talk over the phone or over the internet um, or email. And you're going to give me all your, your past history and what your goals are. I am then going to get, send you some um, outline guidelines as far as your nutrition for you to follow. And what you're going to be doing with your nutrition is you're going to be emailing me your nutrition every day. Um, that's more of like a, a, a coursework, okay? So I'm going to give you some basic guidelines as far as your nutrition goals. And then as I see your, your nutrition coming in on the emails, we're going to adjust your nutrition um, as we see what, what's, what's coming, coming in. I used to send people a whole big packet of nutrition, but that just becomes another, another book. So what I found out works the best right now is I give you some basic guidelines, and then as I, as I see your habits and the foods you're eating, I give you some ideas on what to do. Now the nutrition could be for weight loss, it could be general fitness, general health, um, it can be related to Ironman training, marathon training, what so it be, be. It's specifically for you, okay? Um, there are no texts uh, or, or, or other people working on this. I want you to know that I am reading your emails and I'm the one that's personally making your, your training program. You're going to basically tell me what you're training for or what your goals are. Weight loss, fitness, strength, um, marathon, Ironman, sprint trial, whatever. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create... A, a custom week schedule for you. So you're going to let me know whether or not you have a gym access to work out to the gym or you have no equipment at all and you're working out all at home or in your, your apartment. No matter what the situation is, we could develop some type of exercise program for you. So what I'm going to do is, once we get this information, what I'll be doing is I'll give you access to an online software and I'm going to write up a whole week's worth of training for you. You're going to go on there, see the training, print it up, um, do the exercise, and then you're going to give me feedback on the training. So you're going to just easily say done, did it, too hard, this is whatever, however information you want. If for some reason you miss some days training, um, you call me up and we adjust your schedule. I only do a week at a time, 
Okay, I don't make a, a whole month's worth of training. We don't. We don't know. Every every session builds on what you did for the previous day or, or a week. So this is not some generic type of type of program. Um, we may get into some supplements. I may want you to take some type of supplements. If you have questions on the supplements, you can call me or email any anything anytime you want. So basically, kind of like I said, in a nutshell, you pay one monthly fee and you get unlimited access whenever you want. If you got a question about your training, if you're if you're when you're training, your, your hips acting up or something like that, pick up the phone or the email and, and drop me a line, and we'll work through it. If you're um, not dropping weight, if you're or training, it's basically specifically for you. To put it simple enough, okay? So um, look around on the uh, on the website. Get uh, watch a lot. I, I encourage you to look at all the videos I have on. Um, I want you to kind of know a little bit about my background and my philosophy a little bit. If you have any questions, um, please feel to uh, email me at Dr. Jeff at Fat Man to Iron Man or um, look at the website. We could always set up a, a time for a phone consultation if you have any other questions. So, uh, like I said, if you have any other questions, please uh, look at the website, drop me an email, or just give me a call. Thanks.